I am always searching for simple circuits that can work very good, say with two or three, perhaps uh, four transistors, that can be made by uh, anyone interested in electronics. And here is also such a circuit. I found it in a, a magazine, the Electeur magazine of 19. 69. And uh, the idea was of course, well, let me try and test it, let me make it. Here is the schematic. They call it an emitter coupled multi vibrator and even tell that the whole thing can get to 10 mega uh, cycles, megahertz. I've tested it and yes, it is true in a certain way, but the waveform uh, has an enormous um, uh, deterioration on 10 megahertz and, and even on other higher frequencies. So I published the circuit as first, as it is now, and it is again very simple. I tried at first um, a BC. 547B here and also here a BC 547B. It worked properly. Uh, after that, uh, because of the ID to get to higher frequencies, especially 10 mega cycles, uh, I made the circuit with um, a typical high uh, frequency transistor. The BF199, here are the pin connections. And well, perhaps I want to skip over my first experiments. Perhaps it's interesting. Uh, at first, it was made with two times a BC547 NPN silicon transistor. Uh, the whole circuit worked on 28 volts, and it still now works on 28 volts. And here are the frequencies 100 nanofarad, 14kc. 470 picofarad, 276 kilo cycles, 1 microfarad, 1.7 uh, kilo cycles, and an electrolytic cap of 220 microfarad gave out 10 hertz. The waveform was deteriorated with that um, uh, electrolytic cap, and that has, of course, everything to do with the simplicity of this circuit. So, its, simpl its simplicity is very positive, no problems with that. But of course, because of its uh, simplicity, uh, there is, say, a, a limited bandwidth uh, talking about the uh, frequencies and also about the uh, distortion on the waveform. Anyway. Again, made with a two times a BF199, and I will, I will only show show this very very uh, short. And here, we, this is all Dutch, but anyway, perhaps interesting. The waveform uh, distorts on the higher frequencies. That is more or less the aim the, the aim of all these notes anyway schematic again and the good thing of this circuit is I found that out experimentally when you change the voltage here the frequency does not change so much only a tiny uh, frequency change when the voltage changes the supply voltage changes and in the original uh, report from Fairchild and from uh, Electeur 1969 uh, they told that this was the formula for the frequency and this is C that's the capacitor and that is this capacitor here and I've made now here a rotary switch so that I can for this demo purpose switch in different capacitors. Look at the scope and look at the same time which frequency is 
generated. Again, these frequencies are fixed and directly related to the capacitor here, between the two emitters. Um, normally you don't see a multi vibrator circuit, a stable multi vibrator circuit with this set up and then I mean emitter coupled, that, that's the most important thing. Anyway, here are some first uh, measuring results, 220 microfarad, 10 hertz, 1 microfarad, 1.7 kilo cycles, 1.47 microfarad, 3.4 kilo cycles, 100 nanofarad, 15 kilo cycles, and with a 10 nanofarad capacitor. You are, we are on suddenly on 1.5x kilo cycles. That's, that's a lot. And with that 1N5, 1500 picofarad capacitor, we are suddenly on, uh, say, 750 kilo cycles. Well, time to show the circuit. Put on my scope. I did some experiments with, say, uh, my analog scope, but in this case my digital scope worked best. Now we are on the capacitor here, capacitor of 220 microfarad. It gives 10 Hertz. Well, is that true? Yes, it gives 10 Hertz. Switch off all the lights so that you can directly see uh, what's happening in the circuit. There's the deterioration, etc. etc. No problem, by the way. And we are now on 10 Hertz. Let's go to the higher frequencies. And you will surely see that the waveform gets much, much more pure. This is 10 Hertz. This is the second waveform on the second stage, that is one microfarad, and now we are on 1.7 kilo cycles. Still, very, very good waveform for such a simple circuit on this frequency. Switch further, changing the, the, the frequency dependent capacitor. Now we are on 3.4 kilo cycles. Still a very good waveform given this very simple setup. 3.4 kilo cycles. Switch further and now we are on 6.5 kilo cycles. Switch further and now we are on 159 kilo cycles. That's quite good. That's a 10 N, 10 nanofarad capacitor. 158 kilo cycles. And now I switch further. And now we are on the highest frequency. And you see slight deterioration of the waveform. Uh, we are now on. 762 kilo cycles. So the whole idea of this circuit, uh, uh, when it was published in those early days in 1969, that you could get to 10 mega cycles, it could be real. And I have to do more experiments, and then especially, uh, especially uh, talking about say. Uh, keeping a good waveform on higher frequencies than say 1 megahertz or so. I have switched now the, uh, the switch back and suddenly we see here a kind of deterioration but that is not very important 
when you want to do measurements it is surely a very very useful circuit and made only with two transistors let me do more experiments i have approximately five minutes now i limit now the supply voltage it's now um, 30 volts and i'm now going to bring it back to that's also very important of course to 18 volts what is happening now it's on 18 volts the frequency is now 755 kilohertz that means that the changing of the supply voltage does not have an enormous effect on the frequency and now I go to 12 volt and I'm sure almost sure <coughs> that it also doesn't will not have a big effect on the frequency 788 kilohertz well somewhat a, a slight difference this circuit was by the way made for higher voltages so let's go back to 30 volts 28 volts now it's 28 volts I think it's a beautiful waveform switch quickly back of course I have to change the scope somewhat quickly back to lower frequencies this is higher this is lower much more lower much more lower 1.7 kilohertz uh, 1.2 kilohertz so well this is no this is 10 hertz well anyway put on the lights again now show the schematic again uh, I will try to uh, make this circuit better especially when it has to operate on higher frequencies but you can take a lot of profit when you are um, interested in electronics uh, a lot of profit out of this schematic in fact in my ID the, the my expectations were not very high but they are now uh, very good such a simple circuit and perhaps Fairchild in those days in the 1960s uh, of course did test it and I'm almost sure they had the same good properties by the way this is positive here here this positive of course thanks for watching